Hi, welcome back to my channel. And this week on Super Soko TCV Electric, I need to fit a brake cutout switches for the Saviton controller for the first MOT. I'm hoping it's going to pass. So I need to put in a cutout switch for the Saviton because putting it in for its MOT, if you give the throttle wide open, it will just go. If somebody accidentally hits the throttle, the brake lever's in, and it cuts the controller out. For the MOT, I needed to have both of them working, so the quick and easy way of doing this was to put a relay in line, put it across the rear brake light, and when the rear brake light activated, it would then activate the relay, and the relay would then basically put the two switch wires together and, and it would simulate the brake switch being activated on the Saviton controller. So I went hunting for a relay but what I did come across was 12 volt solenoid. Relays don't use much power but this solenoid is using 3 amps so as a temporary measure until I get my 12 volt relay I'll put this 12 volt solenoid and that's the big clonking that you're actually hearing when the brake lights are being activated it activates the solenoid which is quite a useful thing because later on you'll find out a neighbour comes down talks to me and I'm trying to work at the same time doesn't mix consequently I wired two wires incorrectly at the same time i'm wiring in the extension for the towing electrics for the single wheel trailer so as you can see here you can see the solenoid and there are two wires coming down and the the live wire i think was black and the earth wire was um, yellow and green so i've wired them up and as I said, my my neighbour came down and talked to me, and I got the um, I stopped, talked to her, lost my concentration, and consequently put the wrong wire in the wrong hole, which I find out later. Towing electrics worked absolutely perfectly, and the normal plug for for the Super Soko was wired two wires ran the wrong way. Didn't cause any damage, just cause a bit of confusion. Also to add to the confusion the towing electrics are all black wires. Here you see me swapping over the towing electrics which have uh, which work perfectly uh, onto the normal plug which is incorrectly wired. Just remembering the knocking noise that you hear is the solenoid which is the brake light is activated. As you can see here, when the brake light is activated, the indicators on the back stop working. And when the brake light's activated, it doesn't, it doesn't illuminate the brake light and also the tail light stops working. As you can see here, the black wire is connected to the yellow and green wire and vice versa, which is my problem. So I quickly changed over the two wires and my problems are solved, as you can see here. Next, all I've got to do is take them all up and make sure that the water can't get to them very easily. Great news, put it in for the MOT and it passed with flying colours. Just an advisory to turn around and say that one of the shock absorbers on the front ever so slight mist of oil on it. Here you see me putting all the cables away, putting the towing electrics for, for later when we test that trailer out.
and this is where I dropped a screw and tried to find it for love nor money couldn't find it for for all the tea in China and um, so I decided I would wait put a light on the matter and um, see if I could find it as I was clearing away and ta -da, here it is I can now put my mobile phone holder back didn't know if it was going to be an MOT failure it was only one screw so remove it and then put it back afterwards happy days thanks for watching my channel please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe it's completely free